we were trying to figure out what makes like a tactical athlete. If you can score 100 on your push-ups and sit-ups and, and 100 uh, on, on the run, does that mean you can do your job while downrange? And I think ultimately, when talking to the other commanders, the first sergeants and the, uh, the squadron commanders, squadron command sergeant major, the, the answer was really no. The tactical athlete, in my mind, is more of an athlete that can do anything in any environment, not just run. It's very important to my commander and I to um, be on the forefront of modernization of the United States Army and, the, uh, and developing a tactical athlete because it's, that's the key to, to our deployments nowadays. With PRT and the MEF, we're focusing on what soldiers need to do to be effective in combat versus what soldiers need to do to be effective on a PT test. We've noticed, I guess, with our unit, as soldiers deploy to uh, join the unit that's, ar that's already over there, one of the biggest problems they're having is they're not in physically fit shape once they arrive. So they're, they're falling behind on missions. So what we decided to do was to train as hard as we can and get as physically fit as possible before we arrive over there. That way, once we do arrive, we're an asset instead of a liability. We're looking for something that would take our, our soldiers to the, the next level of fitness. And I really think we found that with the, uh, the Mission Essential uh, Fitness Facility and their program. It, it really helps us with, um, with providing variety, uh, intensity, and, uh, and a lot of functional movement that you would do every day. We marry the MEF and the PRT based on battle focus PT, um, more toward carrying the litter. We also do different things um, like the Humvee push. Um, you know, you get hit with an IED, who say you may not have to push the Humvee a certain distance. What we realize is that it gets you uh, prepared in a more complete way. I mean, because you're working everything, it's nonstop, uh, fast bursts of energy, uh, it's, it's a definite smoker. It gets you where you need to be. Uh, the Mission Essential Fitness Program started here at Fort Bliss, and it's been researched, it's been applied, it's proven, and we're continuing to move forward to more research, applying a nutritional component to it. So like I say, it's the future of training in the Army. It's the step above. It's going to be the Cadillac of physical fitness training for the Army to make soldiers not only better soldiers but tactical athletes which allows them to move forward, backward, up, down, side to side in full battle rattle. You treat a soldier like an athlete because you see some of the things they do out, out in the field, out down range, and they've got to get up and go, move quick, change directions, whatever it is. If they're getting shot at, then they better be prepared to move not only their body, but their external load with them as fast as they can out of the danger zone. So they need to be functionally training to move fast and get out of there as fast as they can and not have an injury. The challenge is put, get a group of soldiers who are not physically fit, put them in the MEF for two months and watch the result of the PT test after they do the MEF and see where they're at. You will see the huge change. Watch the injury rate drop. I got a soldier on profile, been on a, was on a profile for a year, a year. That soldier now is doing PT, he scored a 254. Never scored above a 210 in his life. I've seen people on profile that should not do PT, want to push themselves to better themselves, to be fit for the fight, not going outside their limitations, but pushing themselves. And then when they come off profile, they're, they haven't lost a step. And morale-wise, it, it boosts me up to see somebody else can, if they're hurt and they can do it, why can't I do it? And it makes me want to be like them. Cool.